So we're gonna take we're gonna tackle this guy's right foot. That's how we're gonna do this. Let's roll, Chad. I need good vibes. Holy shit, that's loud. That's the move I can't figure out. I can't figure out how to make sure that, because the, my only thought on this that has been successful in dealing with this is if I don't lock onto the foot, because when I lock onto the foot, one of the problems is that I get turned around and when he starts smashing, if he gets behind me, I'm in big trouble. So what I think I'm gonna try here and I tried this before, is when it looks like he's gonna do that move, I'm gonna unlock from his foot. And I'm gonna see if maybe that's a decent strategy because my shield can only stop a couple of those. Because what he does is he backs up like this, and then if I run, He's gonna do it, right? So then I, okay, so I run like this. There we go. Okay, that feels better. We're learning, right? Same thing, run. Run, oh shit. All right, that was better. behind him. We just got to make sure that we are staying behind him constantly. Oh, there we go. Right? So now I got to run. Unlock, run. Son of a bitch. We're gonna just, we're gonna chill here. We're gonna chill here. Come on back. This is gonna be tricky though, because he's gonna, he's gonna do. I need him to sort of ground pound so that I can run toward him. There we go. Like that. And we're gonna run toward his feet like this. We're gonna run. There we go. Just gonna chill. Him being right here is not great. All right, that's okay. You can go toward that edge, but I do not wanna fight you on that edge. So you're gonna need to come toward me again. He's gonna swing. He's gonna swing. And then. Oh, God. Oh, man. That was close. I forgot about that move. There we go. Run toward him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Keep running. Keep running, Ryan. All right, we're gonna back him over here. Let him blow fire, back up, back up. Okay. Run toward him again, there we go. Now we're under him. Right. 
behind him. Stay behind him. All right? We're going to let him do his poundy thing. Run toward his feet. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Back up. Right, that fire move is one that I've got to be really ready for. I also don't want to be too close to the edge here. All right, do your poundy thing, and then I'm going to run at you again. Swipe. All right, it's good. It's a good time. Good time as any to run toward him. Here we go. Back up. Okay. Okay. Get my stamina back. Stay off of them. All right. Back up. Go. Here, run fit, run to his feet, run to his feet. Back up. Okay. Alright, get your stamina. Okay. Off of his get unlocked. What? That's bullshit. Run away. Uh, oh. Holy shit, man. Dude, this guy, it's just so... That that move is just so hard. Good night, Mia. Uh, can't lock onto him. I need to move. I can get him in here. All right, we get on his right foot. This is ridiculous, man. I don't like fighting him in here. We're gonna back him up. We're just gonna we're gonna go nice and slow. We're gonna I'm gonna try to go as slow as I can with him here. I don't wanna yeah, I don't wanna fight him in here. Look at that. Get out of there, dude. How did he hit me there? All right, get up on his feet. Unlock strategy is huge, chat. It's huge. All right, I don't want to walk back to the edge, so we're gonna we're gonna chill for a second. We got him in a decent spot here. Ah, uh, get a little bit closer to this edge, big boy. Yep, swipey swipe. Yep. Good. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that hurt. 
Oh my god, that hurts. That hurts a lot. That was so nice. It was so patient. Oh. This battle arena is brutal, man. It really is. There's not the... I, I Like, to an extent, like, I wonder if the only way... I don't think I can get him down... I mean, maybe if I can get him down here, that's not going to be too terrible. I also could maybe kite him around these edges or maybe use this as a chance to relax. Like, I mean, I guess we could try it. Better than the one with the cliff. Uh, yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to I'm gonna keep him in a good position up here, but if he gets in a compromised position, I'm going to drag him down. Get him. All right, let's get him down here. I'm going to try it. Because on this bridge, that way I know that I don't have an edge to go off of, I don't think, right? And then if I need to run on the far edge of that hole, I can. Yeah, come on, you dick. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're going to be a little weenie and you're not going to come down here. Come on. Come on, weenie boy. Come on, weenie boy. What, you're big and bad? You don't have a little cliff to help you out? You don't want to come down here? Yeah, you're big old weenie. Come on. Yeah, blow fire. Get mad. Come on. Come on, weenie boy. Oh, you're a little bitch. Little bitch. I don't want to fight in the spot that doesn't have a nasty cliff for Dr. Meek to fall off of. Yeah, there you go. Good. Yeah, go over there. Idiot. Come on. Come down here. Come down here. So now we know that we can't, now we know we can't bring him down there. That sucks that we can't kite him, but what are you going to do? All right. I'm, I still think that this is the right weapon to use. Like the ax I think has had the most success. I don't, the katana, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's the blood loss buildup. All right. We'll go back to katana. It's him saying, oh, you want to be a bitch, Mick? Well, what do you think of this? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, he's entitled to talk shit as much as I am, man. we go all right big that was big didn't get one of those earlier all right 
Run! No! No! Alright, we're back in business, chat. Back in business. Yeah, come to me. Come to me. Yeah. I just gotta make sure that I don't get hit with this fire, man. The, the fire is brutal. at him. Get these cankles taken care of. Alright, I don't want him against that wall, so we're going to kite him back. I saw it coming. Oh my god, no. Oh my god. This whole goddamn stream is going to be me fighting this guy. I swear to god, man. That sucks. That was going so well. It was going so well. Ticket secured. There you go, Doris. That makes me feel better. Damn it. Damn it. All right. Feels good, though. It feels better to use the katana. We got the thing where we were able to drill into his heart. We've killed one of these guys before. We killed this guy's brother. All right, so... I'll freaking do it again. Swing. Swing. No! Oh my god, dude. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. I like the thing is, is like I know exactly what we need to do. All right. Oh ye. Oh ye, Warhawk. I dust summon thee. What? Hold on. Oh, ye jellyfish. I doth summon thee.
Hmm. Try it. This is the run. God damn it, man. Unlock. Dislike very much when he does that. All right. Come on. Come over here. Come over here. Ugh. You're not going to hit me if you do that, buddy. You're going to have to walk over here. You're going to have to be out in the middle. And I'm willing to be patient. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yep, do your second sweep. Now I re God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Backed up? Are you... God! Are you kidding me? Zine. Oh. Bestow upon me the might of your community. Hello, Zenonites. Oh my god, I'm currently in the, the, the battle of my life. Welcome in, friends. I'm Dr. Mick. I'm a licensed couple and family therapist. I can't beat this god. I can beat this guy. I can beat him. It's just a matter of doing it. But welcome in, friends. I'm Dr. Mick, a licensed couple and family therapist. I have a PhD in human development. This is Game Sessions with a Therapist, where we play cool games. Well, kind of cool games. And we talk about mental health, psychology, therapy, and more in an effort to destigmatize those things, bring information to people who would not otherwise have it in a responsible and ethical way. I don't do therapy on stream. I do answer questions related to mental health. You're welcome to ask me at any time. I'll do my best to answer. Zine, I hope you had a wonderful stream. I'm sure you did, because you always do. Ways to approach concepts with low distress tolerance in therapy setting that don't involve changing tolerance levels. I'm not sure I understand that question. What would be... You got an example? Because I don't know that I follow that. This guy is not a boss, uh, Lady Sophie. No. This guy's just a regular old dingbat that's guarding a little portal. And he doesn't like that I want to use it. Now, why can't he fall off the edge, right? It's total bullshit that he can do that. Oh, fall off the edge! Fall off the edge, brother! swipe two swipe no every time man he gets me with that fire every time smash oh he hit me damn it all right 
right, we go, 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 go. he is to the edge. I do not like how close he is to the edge. I do not like this. Alright, we're gonna walk him off. Thank you, Unreal. I hope, I hope I meet your expectations of being a cool guy. I hope I'm a cool guy, too. This guy that I'm fighting, not a cool guy. I don't like this guy. out of there lemon thank you for the prime sub I appreciate it nice and patient here get him back where we want him yep yep and he does fire yep all right here we go Hey, I'm Hammy. Thank you for the uh, for the host. I appreciate it. Are you wearing a nut as a helmet? It's a pumpkin. I'll have you know. Oh God. Part six, man. It's just it's just me fighting this guy over and over and over. Shit, so that's why I need to be on the right foot. This is when he does that. Edge is just such bullshit. Like, I have low distress tolerance when it comes to things like drugs and alcohol. I don't really want to change that, but more so to change my self perception to be more accepting of that fact. Is that something that therapeutic setting can be helpful with? Yes, absolutely. How was your day? It was good until this guy walked into it. Actually, I walked into his day, but. You know.
What? What? Oh, I'm still alive. Oh my god, I'm still alive. I do not want to be in here. I can't believe I'm still alive. I really cannot believe I'm still alive. I need him to fall down. Do your fall down thing. I don't like magic. So yes, this is a magic free run. As a reminder, oh yeah, since there's a lot of people in here that came off of the raids, this is a uh, do not backseat. Do not tell me what to do. Don't suggest anything. Don't give me tips. Don't give me hints. Don't that, None of that shit. None of it. Backseating free, spoiler free. Um, if I want help, I will ask for it. But, uh, man. This is brutal. This doesn't do shit for me, so I'm going to need... Um... That talisman's not particularly useful. Oh my god, I do like to suffer. I do like to suffer. I got here from a chest that teleported me here, BD. Gladnar. I just, man, having him up against the wall like that is terrible. That was my second teleporting chest. That was what got me here. Yeah. This is where I need him, right in the middle. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we're gonna bring him back to the middle again. he's off the edges. Nope. Nope. Not good. to the middle we've gotten this guy to halfway we got him below halfway pretty much the first round that I had with him 
So, I mean, th this is definitely doable. It's just a matter of being patient, making sure that I don't get hit by his fire attack because his fire attack is like really where I get screwed. And just trying to be as patient as I can possibly be. I mean, it really... Oh shit, no, no, that's not what it. All right, we're fine. Oh man, I thought he did the like fall down thing. There we go, that's the fall down thing. We drive our sword into his heart, we twist it. Ugh. All right. We get him away from the edge again. This is where, it, this is what I gotta do, man. I, I have to get him back into the middle. We're gonna keep him in the middle no matter how slowly I gotta do this. All right, he's gonna pound here. And now we're gonna run up because he's exactly where I want him to be. Get my stamina back. The hidden. All right, this is fine. Back up. All right, now he's back on the edge again. So we're gonna we're gonna try to back him up a little bit. Get him off, get him off the edge. Good, good, good. Right where I want him. Run. Don't risk it. Good. All right, now we're gonna run over here. Kited over to the middle. Just like this. Alright, let him do his swing. His swing. Blow fire at me. Yep. And then we're gonna run up on him. It's okay. Alright, we run up on him. We've got him where we want him. Hack, hack, hack. Let him back up. Right. Behind him. All right, he's getting mad. Behind him. I do not like him being this close to the edge, so we're going to kite him back over to the middle. He's going to do that himself, which is fine with me. Get him back to the middle just a little bit. Go underneath. Okay. Drink. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, man. Level 31, Mal. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh.
Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, that feels so good. We got it. That's what it's all about right there, chat. That's what it's all about. You 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 persist. It was all about keeping him where I needed to have him. See, I was getting so focused on just trying to attack him when I whenever I could and trying to get him into the middle was the way to go there. You just got to stay focused. You control the engagement. So it's all about control the engagement. And that's what we did there. Oh, and I still can't use this? That's fun. That's fun. Okay. So we just fought, we just fought that asshole for nothing. Oh, do you have any advice on dealing with procrastination? Procrastination is just anxiety management. It's not about the actual task you have to do. It's about the anxiety related to it. So when you procrastinate, you are avoiding anxiety rather than the task. The important thing to remember is that you can complete the task even if you're anxious. So the way that you fight procrastination is to break it down into small manageable chunks and do it now. See yourself as able to do the thing while anxious. Because the more you put a task off, the more you build the anxiety that's related to it, which is not a position that you want to be in. So, procrastination, the antidote to procrastination is dis is discipline. My favorite thing about this was that you were doing the lean forward to get better at the video game. Oh, yeah. Holy shit, look at that. Look how, this place is huge. All right, that felt good though. That felt real good. Wait a minute, I can't teleport? You've been trapped. You cannot travel to Sites of Grace until you rest at one. Oh, okay. Gamer stance works. We rested at one. Now what? All right, now I can teleport. Well, let's see if maybe I can use this thing now. Stand a reason that I could. Guess not. All right. Do not backseat, Mau Mau. Don't tell me what I can or can't do. That constitutes backseating. That's a very easy way to get yourself timed out. What about procrastinating on things that don't make you anxious, but just boring, annoying chores? Boredom is experienced as anxiety. So when it's got the same physiological effect. So the, again, the antidote is discipline. Wanting the dishes to get done, thinking about doing the dishes, does not get the dishes done. You have to do it. So break it down into small manageable chunks. The sooner you do it, the sooner the avoidance goes away. But all procrastination is, is avoidance. Avoidance makes anxiety worse over time. That stone block with the hole is supposedly a teleporter. But it's not working. Titan enemies in games like this are always so cool. They are. Um, Shadow of the Colossus is a game that I had thought about playing on stream for a while. I don't have a PlayStation anymore to be able to do it, but that would have been a decent chill and chat game. Alrighty. I'm...
I do too, Skog. Or just make another one. That game is a lot of fun. Like, I would love a Shadow of the Colossus too. Pretty sure that's the tower that I went to. We're gonna go the opposite way here and see what happens. I wonder what these guys are guarding. They remade the game for PS3, but I want like a PlayStation 5 version of it. Man, what a what a ridiculous thing. You know, so we spend all that time downing that Titan to get a Halberd I can't use. Give me your souls, goat. Have you tried the Mass Effect series? Have I tried the Mass Effect series? I have played through Mass Effect Trilogy three or uh, ten times. I also have a full playthrough of um, of Mass Effect on YouTube that you can watch, where I actually analyze all the characters and stuff. So feel free to feel free to check that out if you want to watch me play it. Yeah, Mass Effect is probably my favorite RPG of all time. Just wanted to thank you for doing what you do. Some of the concepts you talked about last stream really made some stuff click for me. I've since been working on my distress tolerance and building some discipline. And considering what I can't control is just factors to take into account. It's definitely made a difference for the better. I'm so glad to hear that, Melodic Leaps. Honored to have had that effect on you and your YouTube tidbits. I'm glad you have been watching those and enjoy those. Ten times. Yeah. Mass Effect is a game that I have uh, played to death. I really don't know when the next time I'll play it will be because of that. I mean, I, I... My last run that I did was with the Legendary Edition, and I played through the whole thing on Insanity as a Vanguard without New Game Plus, and it was pretty intense. So if you want to watch that playthrough, like I say, YouTube, that'll get you there. Guide and Gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. We've, we've seen one of these other statues before. If they release Shadow of Colossus on PC, I'm going to play it. Is there a vault like Destiny has? There actually is. Yes. Oh, shit. Dude, get off the horse. God damn it. So glad to be back hanging out in the stream. You're always an amazing place to chill and to learn. I'm glad to have you all here. And seriously, don't be afraid to tag me if you need to. If you have a question that's mental health related, I'm more than happy to answer it. I encourage people to tag me. I don't, uh, if I miss a lot of stuff, if you don't tag me. I know a lot of streamers hate being tagged, but I am not one of those streamers. So you're, you're welcome to tag me. If I miss your tag, tag me again. The only thing I ask is that you do not backseat this game or spoil it. I know... I know it can be annoying to hear me say that over and over again, but I really do mean it. Um, the fun in these games for me is learning them. And if you tell me what to do, or if you give me a hint or whatever, it ruins that fun for me. So don't be a fun ruiner. Nobody likes fun ruiners. Also, don't tempt me, or don't test it, because I will ban you with reckless abandon. I don't, I don't really... But 
one person over the stream. Alright. That looks like a thing that we can maybe fight. Guardian Sword Spear. Ooh. Ooh, that thing's actually pretty strong. Really heavy, though. Let's see. I bet you! Wow! Whoa! All right. So I recently moved from a very intense high-speed job into a much quieter low-speed job. I find I'm struggling with the backwards adjustment. Do you have tips? Uh, it's probably going to take a while. Habituation is your friend. Oh, this is too heavy for me. Okay. I am over-encumbered. It would seem. But seriously, habituation, Christian, um, is going to be your friend. Uh, without knowing more detail, it's hard for me to answer that with any kind of real depth. Like, that kind of adjustment usually takes longer than people want it to. You should talk to a sleep specialist gaming concept. I am not a sleep specialist, so sleep questions are out of my realm of expertise. All right. I want to fight this guy. But. All right, screw it. Oh, this is an actual boss. Okay, well. Let's learn your moves. Shit, okay, so you can stop. I gotta check my surroundings here. Make sure. Oh shit, not good, not good, not good, not good. Well, didn't know about that. Okay, that wasn't a bad first attempt. Can OCD be worked through with just talk therapy alone and no meds? Yes. Absolutely. 
you want to learn more about OCD, I got a video on YouTube about that. But yes, um, I work with people all the time who struggle with OCD who are not on meds. Now we know that he has the magic thing. It was a solid first attempt. I mean, I, 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 my sense is that I am definitely quick enough to stay ahead of this guy. So I just got to pick my spots. And I actually wonder, I wonder if the pokey pokey is the better weapon here. We're going to try the pokey pokey. I wouldn't call shield OP. I mean, shield's a viable option, but also it can be pretty... Oh my god. Asshole. Poke. Alright, I don't like pokey pokey. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. We're going with we're going with the katana. That just didn't feel right at all. Do you tend to overanalyze games more? Uh, I wouldn't call it overanalyzing. I do analyze them. That's kind of my shtick. It's why people watch me. Is because I analyze games. Overanalyze is a bit judgmental, right? Like that's in the eye of the beholder. I don't think I overanalyze them. If somebody's like, I just want to watch somebody mindlessly play a video game, then yeah, you probably call what I do overanalyzing, but... Which is always hilarious to me on TikTok when people are like, bro, it's just a game. Like, yeah, I know. That's an, if I just played the game, you wouldn't give a shit about me playing it. <laughs> I enjoy the ability to analyze games uh, like that. It's a lot of fun for me. Just a game, bro. You even play Pokey Pokey, bro? That one's actually really helpful because he like basically knocks me off. Do you analyze games like this way when you're playing offline? Yes. I mean, not like maybe not as like overtly, but yes. Oh my God. That's going to like hit me no matter what, apparently. So I either just need to like run away or... See what happens if I run away. Oh! All right, that's the way.
Oh shit. Oh shit. Run! Run, right! I saw it coming. It was going so well. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh. He just got gifted a sub to A-Trace channel. Cool. Thank you to whoever did that. Oh, man. Oh, man. All it takes is just one. I... I, you know, got knocked back, and he's laying on the ground, and I could just see it coming. Brutal, man. Oh, all right, we've got this, though. Is this a challenge not to roll? No. It's not. I don't know why people... People get so goofy with me about the fact that I don't roll. Like... Rolling's lame, man. Oh, shit. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> Oops. I overanalyzed my friends and family who keep mining out the floor of sky platforms and sandbox games no matter how many years pass. I don't fully understand that sentence, but... Oh... Since in most cases a character's words and behavior are scripted, do you find any discrepancy in analyzing them compared to IRL people? Is there a certain amount of slack that you give the writers? Um, I mean, I think there are times where I've been critical of how certain games have written characters. Uh, like in Cyberpunk, I was pretty critical of certain ways in which V would respond to things, but I would give video game characters, I think, some of the same leeway that I would give anybody in real life, because... Video game characters are just manifestations of, like, real-life characters, you know? Like, they're, they're, they're written as humans, so they're gonna have similar convictions and stuff. Alright, we got this. Oh shit, I forgot to pick up my souls. I'm just trying to get him to clear the battlefield a little bit for me. It is helpful when I don't have to worry about these stupid ass pots. And easy. Nope. 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 Alright, got my souls.
we go. I'm getting a little greedy by trying to go for three on those. Swing, swing, swing. One, two, back up. All right, one, two, back up. Whoosh. One, two, there we go. Run! Ooh! Whack. Whoosh. One, two. Oh no, oh no, run, run, no! a lot oh man that was it that was it too i was doing so well there that kills me kills me i went to school for writing and mostly look at things from a story structure characterization perspective love watching your stuff because it presents story and character to me in a much more humanistic context that really enriches the artfulness of the writing well i appreciate that enthusiast it is my pleasure to do that yeah, I mean, I, I like looking at how things are all interconnected. You know, like, I, I, I really enjoy, you know, when characters... Oh, shit. When characters make sense, when their motivations and their behaviors match the way that the character seems to be thinking. You know, the interactions... is the run, chat. Let's make him break a few pots. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Whoosh. 
Whoosh. Whip around. Whoosh. Knock me back. Wham. Swirl. Knock me back. Wham. Swirl. Three in a row. No need to get greedy. Whack, swirl, and whack, whack. Knock me back. Wham. Swirl again, baby. Come on. Nice and predictable. Easy peasy, baby. Opaline Bubble Tear. Crimson Burst Crystal Tear. What is your significance, O ye newest newest item myths? Mm. Answers charge attacks for some time. Significantly negates damage. Very boost stamina. Steadily restores HP for a time. Eh. All right, so we have felled the giant fire guy and tree guy. I would say that this stream is more successful than part five was. Wouldn't you agree? I'd also like to just take a second to say how much I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you for the follows tonight. Uh, if any of you have supported the stream financially via subscription, whether it's a Prime sub or a normal Twitch sub, or if you've gifted subs or resubbed or sent bits or tipped or can't buy merch right now, but eventually you'll be able to buy merch in the new merch store. Thank you so much for your financial support of the stream as well. Those of you that are members on YouTube, thank you for being members. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for supporting my content over there. I hope that you subscribe and comment and like the video. And those of you that are here live on Twitch, thanks so much for keeping me company while I do this. It really does mean a lot to me. I've been thinking about going back to school for a while. I'm not sure what to take. Do you have any tips or advice on how to choose? Oh, man. Uh, it's going to depend on what you're passionate about, lady. I mean, that's a really hard one for me to answer. Like, ask yourself when you have free time where you're not required to do anything specific... What do you spend your time doing? And is there a potential career that you could make out of that or a potential major that could come from that? Uh, I think that kind of thing can help. Um, talking to people in various professions that you think might be interesting. Ask them what they majored in. Uh, ultimately, that's a personal choice, but I'm a big believer in making the choice that's right for you, not the choice that's right for other people. A lot of people go to college or go to school because they think that they're supposed to do what other people want them to do, and that's not a good space to be in. Uh, I don't know, lady. That's a hard one. I mean, you can always go for a general education at a college. I would talk to college advisors. I don't know that I'm the guy to ask as it relates to that, because I, I always knew what I wanted to do. And there's a lot of variables that go into why a person would be interested in certain aspects of a school. So I, I don't know. I mean, gen ed is generally going to be the way to go if you're not sure what you want to do. But also, that can cost a lot of money. Oh, shit. Uh, and I heard that person singing, so we're going to go check that out here in a minute. But I want to just see what the base of this tree has for us, if anything. Who are thou? Who doth sing here?
Oh, ye bard! Where are you? Perhaps this person is down below. want to explore. I want to know who this is. I want to know who dares sit there and sing instead of assist me in fighting that giant boss. I bet you. Do I have 7,000 souls? I probably should... Level up. Alright, it could lead to anything. I don't take anything for granted in this game anymore. Uh, Kid Goof, like, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's certain death. Maybe it's a person who can aid me in my quest. I have absolutely no way of knowing. Until I go down there and check. Seems like it's like down. All right, I want to figure out. Oh, look at that more tentacle people. Uh oh, what is this? What is this? I don't like fire. I don't do well with fire. As they chuck firebombs at me. Yo. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it. Castle over there is neat. All right, let's work our way down here. Cause that's the that's the tower that took us to the fire giant. So I don't really want to go over there. I want to go over by this singing person. Lady. Okay, that was a little too close to the edge there. All right, Bat Lady, bring it on. Guarding the sliver of meat. Uh, well, hey, at least we got to see what that was. That was a little creepy. We're just doing a music stream, that's all. Which, if y'all hang around for another hour, I will probably play guitar for a little bit here at the end. I gotta get back my guitar dexterity. You interrupted a rehearsal for a big show. I know, I'm such a dick. I want to go to that tower over there. Let's figure out a way to do that. Yes, she had harpies.
You know, I say this every stream. This game is beautiful. I mean, it is just an absolute marvel to look at. It feels like an it feels like an honor to play this. Just because of how stinking pretty it is. Okay, so we've been oh, okay, so I came over here. I don't wanna fight those. Uh From this direction. We were going towards that castle. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Dr. Mick of games. By the way, y'all, if you don't follow Juice this TV, if you want C plus content with an A plus man, did I do that right, Juice? You should follow him. So, Chief, it's good to see you. Hello. Wait, do we have a Badger sighting in here? Did I miss Badger? Hello, Badger, if you're in here. Ah. Hello, Badger. Good to see you. Alright, lots of flowers down below. Oh yeah, there's like this wolf thingy here. Wow, you wasted a lot of time roaring there, buddy. Maybe don't do that next time. I love how we got, look at that. So I decided to go like right when we got up here and that led us to an entire journey just by me going to the right up that bridge instead of going straight like you're theoretically supposed to in this section. I like, that's the kind of stuff in games that I love. Don't do what you're supposed to, be rewarded for it. tells me there's going to be some crazy shit that comes down over here. Well, I appreciate it, Chief. It's always wonderful to have you here in whatever capacity you're here. It's been a really long day. Work was stressful today. I finished the anime episodes I wanted to watch. Now I'm going to have some sweet dreams. Y'all are amazing. Well... Man, what a, what a great... What a great way... To get yourself just <laughs> hey uh whoever uh Kladnar, just ban that person what a stupid thing to say when you come in here for the first time just ban that person i got no time for that shit <laughs> you come in here and make a comment the dumbest shit you ever said <laughs> bye <laughs> Gotta love it. All right. Uh, that's all the energy that's going to get from me. All right. Where do I want to go? Maybe I go up to the right. Let's go see what's up there. Oh, there's Grace. Let's go touch Grace. And there's a, there's a shop here. It's been insane here lately. It's just too much to type some days. Hey, I totally understand that. Uh, Chief, I'm glad that even just being here for chats helps in some ways. Now, it, I mean, it wasn't even, I don't know. It was just such a stupid joke. Not even worth, it's not even worth me repeating the joke. It's really dumb. 
Like you gotta do better. If you're gonna come in here and say dumb shit, you gotta you gotta do better. Know your audience. All right, let's go. Last time until morning. And let's go. Sort chest. Yeah, I got to dump some of this shit off. Uh, dump that off. Dump the scythe off. That. Dump that. That. Let's go up here and see what we got. Good night, Badger. Much love to you and Jag. Waits for ban. Oh my God. Just, no, see, Juice, that's... Juice, that's the kind of stuff that turns... The, if you say stuff like that, that's the kind of stuff that turns the stream into Hotel California, man. You gotta be careful, bud. You, you think it's gonna get you a van, and then all of a sudden, you can't ever leave. Oh, also, okay, so I just need to share this. So I was at a wedding this past weekend, okay? The DJ at the wedding was actually pretty good, and he was a very clever dude. Like, he, he, you could tell that he had a good sense of humor on him. So we're all, we're all chilling, having a good time at the reception. He's playing really decent music. It, it was exactly like what the bride and groom are into or whatever. So as he gets into the last song of the evening, he says, um, he says a line, he, he says, uh, well, I forget the line that goes before, but you can never leave. Basically a line from Hotel California. Okay. So he says, he says that line and I'm like, oh shit. He's about to bring the house down by ending this reception with Hotel California. You can check out, but you can never leave. There we go. Okay, so he says that. And I'm like, oh shit, he's about to bring the house down with Hotel California. This is going to be perfect. And he didn't play Hotel California. I'm like, how do you say that line as a way to like end the reception and get people ready to go? And then you don't play Hotel California. What a missed opportunity. I was I was so bummed out about it. Like I was unreasonably pissed off that he didn't play Hotel California. I have no idea what he played instead. I was so mad about him not playing Hotel California that I didn't even pay attention to what he played. It didn't matter at that point. It didn't matter. But it was the way he said it and the timing with which he said it was absolutely spot on and perfect. It was great. Like it was so clever and I was like, "Dude, Way to go, man. Now you're going to play Hotel California and everybody's going to just be rocking it. Nope. Real disappointing. Thank you for the stone sword key. Uh, at least he died looking at a beautiful view. I'll be so lucky. I wonder if he realized at any point and if it haunts him, it would haunt me if I don't know how you missed that though, right? Like if you're going to go out of your way to say you can check out anytime you like, but you can never leave, which is so obviously a Hotel California reference. I don't know how you miss the boat on actually playing Hotel California. Like... I wasn't even there and I feel bad about it, right? I just like, oh, dude. Like, I was ready to have this guy do the DJing for whenever Allie and I renew our vows. That's how good he was. And then he just lost me on that. Ooh, an ominous door. Happy to oblige, oh ye door. I might actually prefer the Spanish version of Hotel California from Big Lebowski. It's good. 
Give me resources on EMDR therapy. My spouse was hit by a drunk driver. It was bad. Spouse is okay, but permanently disabled now. Oh my god, I'm so sorry to hear that, Black Goat. Is working with a therapist that specializes in EMDR. Just want to learn what I can about it to help them. Uh, I would recommend, Black Goat, if your spouse is willing, you should go to a therapy session with your spouse and talk to the therapist directly about it. That is going to be more effective than reading a book or an article about EMDR because that person, that therapist can explain to you what they're doing, how it relates to the work they're doing with your spouse, and can give you a way more rich uh, uh, resource, so to speak, for that than if you read about it like on the internet. I mean, I could talk a little bit about what EMDR is, but really, like, hearing that direct from the horse's mouth, so to speak, is really the way to go. Uh, because they can they can explain it, they can explain where they're at in the process, what it is they're doing, what they're accomplishing, how it fits within a treatment plan. I mean, essentially, what EMDR is, is it's just an approach to trauma where a therapist redirects a person's gaze such that it preoccupies them in a way that they can start to get into certain narratives about the trauma and help reauthor those narratives in a way that is more empowering for the client and in a way that suits them for health as opposed to uh, problems that trauma narratives can cause. There's more depth to it, but the level of depth that that person is using in approaching your spouse is something that I'm not going to be able to know. And so talking with them about it is a really great way to uh, get more information about it. So that's what I would suggest, Black Goat, instead of just kind of looking up random stuff on the internet. Also, this place has a ridiculously ominous name, the Impaler's Catacombs. That's... Uh, it's not great. This looks, ir this looks shockingly familiar to where we already were, although I know it's not the same place. I'm guessing there's probably a boss down here, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We got one guy chucking stuff at me, and it's hurting me pretty good. It's getting through my shield. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. All right. What? Okay. Holy shit. Whoa! Yeah, it's been awful. The drunk driver died. My spouse had multiple broken bones, lots of surgery, but is doing well overall. Back to driving already. Dude, the... I have no respect for drunk drivers. I don't know how anybody could. That is really awful. That is truly awful. I mean, it's terrible that, I mean, the person dying is terrible. I'm not, I mean, I'm not here saying like, good, I'm glad the drunk driver died. But man, oh man, what a terrible thing drunk driving is. That's terrible. I'm so glad. I'm so sorry to hear that you're going through that, Black Goat. I, I really am. Oh, shit. All my love to your spouse. Jeez, man. God. Locked by some contraption, so we gotta fight these guys. That can be traumatic, too, to be in an accident where, despite the fact that it's, you know, obviously the drunk driver's fault, it can be really traumatic to have somebody die at the scene of an accident, even if it's not you. I mean, that really can get people out of sorts. I give your spouse a lot of credit for seeking therapy uh, and trying to work through that. You son of a Of course I hit the wall. Of course I hit the wall. You 
guys are okay one on one, but man, when you get them in a group, that blood loss is nasty. These little guys are vicious, Juice. Like, my god. Little stone gargoyle -o duties. That's a weird way to say that. Don't know where I was going with that. Doesn't matter. Like, I'm just waiting for these dudes to jump out at me from, like, any angle. I keep thinking I'm hearing shit. Guaranteed, yep. Four hits. Okay, nothing here. So this is not the way. Good night, Kladnar. Thanks for being here. Also, now that it has hit 12.15 a.m., those of you that are still hanging around here, I would like to announce to you or let you know that I am currently seeking a couple of mods. Oh, no! What? No! No! Uh, I'm... Jeez. Uh, I am currently looking to add to the mod team. If you are interested in being a Twitch mod... This is a really great opportunity to get involved with the stream in a more meaningful way. And if you're up late, uh, we are giving preference to folks who are willing to be up late. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm going to have to just run... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is, this is, this is real bad. Ah! No! Oh, this sucks. This big sucks. I get invisible there. And I don't think there's another door that I can go through. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to scan the environment here. Is there a lever I can pull? Is there... How is this thing getting activated? Okay, we're gonna think through this for a second. We're safe on this ledge. It really doesn't look like we have much option. Unless I can jump on the platform as it goes down and resets. You don't get insulted if people don't want to apply, do you? No. <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? I no. I would never get upset if people didn't want to apply to be mods. Not at all. I, it's a voluntary position. I, I mean, and it and it requires work. So like all of a sudden, you're you know if you want to just chill and you're a mod, there's like an expectation that goes along with that. That you know I I don't want to. contribute to people having a decreased enjoyment of the stream so yeah no I'm not offended at all that's weird to me that anybody would get angry at people for not applying to be a mod like what how entitled do you have to be I don't pay my mods I give my mods a promo code to the merch store but you know. Trust me, it half I believe you. That's just yikes. Hate that. Ah! 
That's bullshit. Alright, we gotta we're gonna have to take this slow, I guess. My shield does nothing. I'm gonna ha oh man, okay. Bad, bad, bad thing. Oh, jeez. All right, we're just going to keep moving along. I'm not enjoying fighting those guys. Oh, man. Oh. Yep, yep. Keep it moving, Ryan. We're just here to pull a lever. That's all we're here for. I just want to pull a lever. That's all I want. Oh, my God. I am wearing my own blood at this moment rather than the blood of my foes who's gonna drop out of the ceiling while I try to pull this who's gonna drop who's gonna do it okay. oh you dick there you are oh no why can't I lock on why can't I lock on? What is going on? The fucking prompt. God damn it. Dude, the fact that those prompts don't clear is so dumb. All right, whatever. I pulled the lever. I don't care. Hold the lever. It's over. I hate that. I hate that so much that because there was a stupid ass prompt there, I died from the prompt. It's dumb. Bad design decision from. Whatever. We got it done. All right. Boss time, baby. Let's get this done. You ready for this, chat? Get your channel points ready. Will I get this within the first three tries? You decide. Oh, God. We have got to clear the ads. Nope, not good. Well, one down. One down. Gonna pee. Gonna pee while you guys vote. Gonna pee. Good. Okay. <laughs> ah. So we got it. We have to take these little guys out. We 
because if I can't if I can't focus on the boss solely, we're in big trouble. Right, it's so Right, I'm gonna waste so many of these things just trying to take out the little guys. Wow. Oh, and there's fire? All right, good to know. Run. Shit. Run, dude. Run! Jeez. Well. <clears throat> I actually think I can do this so long. I, I mean, really, it's going to be about clearing the ads. That's all it's going to be. If I if I can't clear the ads, we're in, we're in big trouble. I wasn't anticipating that. All right, this is okay. All right, chat, this is for the pinks. That thing is all over. Nice and slow. Third one. All right, we got three little guys to take out and the big guy. Oh shit, I, okay, I'm dead. God damn it. God. Well. All right, within the next three, you can vote again. Well, I get it within the next three. You got one minute. Get it done. What difficulty is this on? Uh, th just the game's difficulty. There's no... There's no difficulty setting in this. It's really just... The game's always hard. <laughs> Bad start. Real bad. Real bad. This is gonna suck. I think I got two left. Good. All right, one more. I gotta know where the big guy is at all times. Boom, all right. All right, let's learn the moves. It's 
relatively slow. Close fire, leaves smoldering remains. Lunge. Wham. He's gonna do it again. Wham. He's gonna do it again. This thing is really creepy. All right, that's the way. Not taking any chances. We're going nice and slow here. Because he just sort of like telegraphs what he's gonna do. What a cool boss. I, I do, th the design of this guy is really neat. Shit. No, 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 no. Nope. Nice. 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 That's a big win for the yeses. That's a big win for the yeses. I have kind of a odd question. I don't know exactly how to word. With people or kids that are just violent physically in nature, what psychologically causes that in a generalized answer? Like, I don't see how some find violence funny. Oh, there's all sorts of answers about that, Chief. I mean, violence to some extent can really, uh, it can get a reaction from people. And for kids, reactions are everything. The energy you give a kid is everything. But why some people are fascinated by violence, it's just it's the influence you exert on another human. And if there is a part of violence that is evolutionarily part of being a human, it's power, it's control, it's dominance. And those are appealing things from a survival standpoint. So 
It's kind of the best I can give without having the you know, specifics of the situation that you're referring to. All right, that was solid. That was good. 